Six weeks on, Mum Jade still can't quite believe it. George was born twice the size of an average baby. He's only put on a pound since. He didn't fit in, into any of his newborn.、Um, he's gone straight into sort of three to six months' clothes. This is what Mum was expecting him to wear, but he needs clothes twice the size. When his head was out, that's when they realised he was so big,、um, and then his shoulders got stuck, and that's when sort of everything sort of kicked off. Really, <laughs> there was about twenty odd doctors in the room, and that's when it got really scary. Because no one knew he would be so big, doctors struggled to deliver him. George went without oxygen for five minutes. He was given a ten percent chance of survival. So I got told you were going to lose your baby after. Those nine months of waiting to finally meet him, I think, was the worst. He was transferred to St Michael's Hospital in Bristol and was only allowed home after four and a half weeks. George is now going for regular checkups, but Mum and Dad say all the signs are good. Well, he's had、um, an MRI scan and they said there's nothing majorly abnormal that's showing up on the scan.、Um, so again, it might just be that he's a little bit slow、um, with his learning and things like that. So. Hopefully, it just it's just minor little things. Doctors are still trying to find out why George was so big. It doesn't seem to run in the family. His mum weighed just over six pounds when she was born, and his dad was a little over nine. Well, my mum was there at the birth as well, and she was she was quite scared and shocked as well, obviously seeing everything that happened.、Um, but again, everyone everyone's just so shocked that he was so big. Only one baby born naturally in the UK has been bigger than George, and he was only an ounce heavier. Dozens of tiny unused baby grows have now been packed away. Although Mum says she's been put off having any more babies for a while, she's just happy to have her hands full with this one. He's a little miracle. Well, big miracle, really. But yeah. Rachel Cantor, BBC Points West, in Cheltenham.